Business incubators in Africa are said to be a relatively new concept which are yet to gain traction as real supporters of small business. However, social entrepreneur and founder of startup incubator Gambia, Elio Jallo, says incubators are vital for the continent's development. Earlier, we spoke with Alio about some of his work, which focuses on leveraging technology to tap into the diaspora's investment potential. One of the things that we've, uh, we're trying to do right now is we're exploring opportunities to use technology um, to drive investment opportunities from the diaspora within the Gambian context, as well as in the African context um, in general. So one of the reasons why we're trying to explore these opportunities, there's a lot of African diaspora and there's a lot of um, remittances coming out from the African diaspora into the continent. And it is really important that those remittances are going through the right um, investment channels to help create that job opportunities that is needed within the African continent. So we're looking at um, solutions and ways in which we can actually collaborate um, with other um, tech firms to, to develop um, solutions that will help facilitate that investment opportunities for young Africans uh, within the continent. Just to give us a scope of what your particular incubator does in the Gambia, how many businesses have been through your incubator and what does the success rate of those businesses look like after having been through the program or being through working with what you have to share with them through the incubator? In the past five years, we've established in 2014 and we had the opportunity to support almost about 1,500 entrepreneurs uh, within the past five years. Uh, we could have not done this without um, our partners that we've worked with, um, like the U.S. Embassy, the African um, Development Bank P2RS projects, and as well as the ITC, the International Trade Center, and GIZ. Um, these are some of our major partners that we work with to create that employment, um, that opportunities for entrepreneurs. So basically what we do with these entrepreneurs, they're coming in from different programs. So we have different programs in terms of, we have incubation, acceleration, and design thinking um, programs. So one of the things that it's important for us uh, within those programs is to support these entrepreneurs from the startup stage all the way to the scale-up stage. In the startup stage, what well, we support them with a six-month incubation. During this incubation program, entrepreneurs go through um, trainings, they go through mentorship, they go through access to financing. Uh, we also explore uh, open them to opportunities in terms of networking opportunities as well with other entrepreneurs and other business within our networks. And this is has gone to support a lot of entrepreneurs. And some of the success stories we have, um, entrepreneurs within um, the fashion industry, we have entrepreneurs within the tech industry, we have um, entrepreneurs within um, the service sector as well as um, in the logistics industry, uh, in the renewable energy industry. So these are the different sectors um, that culminate the programs that we have. So to just give you, for example, so the success rate, we have almost about 90 um, to 90 percent um, success rate within the past um, five years of some of the entrepreneurs that graduated um, from the incubator still in business. Um, we also have success stories within the agricultural um, sector. We have entrepreneurs that, um, especially in the poultry industry, we have Mohammed, who grew his business almost to 36,000 chickens and more. And I'm sure now he's even bigger. Um, one of our um, success story who went on to be a designer for Nike in the US, uh, came back and we developed a fashion um, accelerator program that helped almost 25 young ladies to be fashion designers. So that was a women only um, fashion program that we've launched um, last year. So business incubation, Alia, is a relatively new concept in developing countries and the Africa region is no different. So what can you yeah. tell us about running an incubator that most people might not know, but it's crucial for the sustainability and success of incubators on the continent? I think what is really important is also the quality of entrepreneurs that are actually, or the quality of people that are actually applying to these programs is really crucial in the sustainability of those businesses because you need to ensure that you're able to have the resources as well. And the team that you have as well is really, really crucial because you need to have that network of professional and skilled mentors and coaches around that could actually guide these entrepreneurs. And it's not just like people who just, okay, I graduate from university or high school. Um, I have an idea, but I can actually mentor or coach a particular entrepreneur. You need a real life entrepreneur who has gone through the challenge challenges of running a business, to be able to guide and support these entrepreneurs within those challenges. And I think that is really, really, really fundamental when it comes to helping these entrepreneurs um, grow within the industry. And the other part as well is funding is really, really crucial because a lot of the startups that we have um, applied for, um, that applied to our programs, 
had expressed that access to finance has been a major challenge. And most of them started their businesses because they want to support um, their families as well as to grow their business and make a better living for themselves. And you, you can see the high unemployment rate and the population growth within the African continent. It's, 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 it's growing rapidly and we need to ensure that um, there are opportunities available for young Africans within the continent. And for us to do that, we need to create um, um, ecosystems. Incubators are really, really very fundamental in creating that business ecosystem within a country that could help um, entrepreneurs and businesses grow.